In this video, we're going to look at some of the code refactorings available in PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Code. So a code refactoring is a tool that allows you to change code safely um, inside your PowerShell scripts uh, without having to do a lot of typing or like kind of manual thinking. Um, and you can access uh, code refactorings by either clicking this little light bulb that shows up where it says show code actions or hitting control uh, dot by default. And that's going to provide you with some options and they're contextual. So depending what line of code you have selected, it's going to provide you with different options. So in this case, I'm calling get process so I can do things like uh, use parameter splitting, um, generate a function from the usage, generate a proxy function. So let's actually click the use parameter splitting. So what that actually does is it uh, creates a hash table for us with the parameters that were specified on that um, get process call and then splats those parameters onto get process. So it's just kind of a handy way to kind of change the syntax um, into another syntax uh, that doesn't break your code and uh, does it really rapidly. Because if you have a lot of parameters here, it's a lot of typing to actually convert um, that call over to um, hash table. And um, kind of the way the PowerShell Pro Tools works, it, it does this all as edits. So if it does do a refactoring and you decide, oh, I don't like that, you can just hit Control Z and undo that refactoring. Uh, additionally, uh, we have things like uh, generating proxy functions. So a proxy function is the ability to kind of override existing commandlets with new functionality. So um, it's kind of like a weird built-in um, feature of PowerShell um, that you have to call like special classes and that kind of thing. Um, but we just have a button here where we can do that, and it's going to generate a whole bunch of code for your proxy function. So you can see it overrides get process, and you could add additional functionality in here um, to the get process command. Another thing that we integrate with is the ability to rename symbols inside um, your PowerShell scripts. So this actually integrates with the um, Visual Studio Code rename engine, and pretty much what you need to do is hover over a uh, you know variable or a method or something like that, and you can either right click on it and say uh, refactor rename, or you can just press F2. And when you press F2, it's going to say um, you know, what do you want to rename this variable to? So I'm going to rename it to variable 333. And once I hit enter, it's actually going to update all the variables that actually have that, um, that same name. So it is context aware, so it's also scope aware. Um, if you're renaming variables inside functions, it's not going to name, rename them outside functions, unlike a global find replace, which is just going to change the string everywhere inside um, your script. Another cool uh, refactoring that I really like is the ability to generate functions based on usage. So get my new function does not exist. It's not an actual function that I've defined yet. Uh, and you can see here I'm calling it with a single name parameter and passing a string to it. So if I actually uh, click this and say generate function from usage, what it's actually going to do is create the function for me and then create a param block with the parameters that I've specified on that function. So rather than having to go through and type all that, you can actually type out the function how you want to actually call it in the future. And it's going to generate kind of the scaffolding for your function. Obviously, there's some things that you're going to want to tweak. Um, but in this case, you know, it just generates a bunch of um, script for you without you having to type it. So in this video, we looked at the refactorings in PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Code. There's about 12 refactorings or so, and we're always kind of adding more or looking for opportunities to add more. So if you do have um, some refactorings you'd like to add, just let us know.